Well, I got uh, four rugs made out of that warp until I ran out of it. This is something, uh, you know, my idea on this one is to tear it apart and get rid of this god awful paint that they put on there and get it back to the hardwood that's underneath. Which will be a pretty big job. But then I'm going to change this. They had twine strings tying. You know, when you roll the warp on, they actually should be longer. You know, this runs out too soon. You should be able to weave, you know, all the way up to like there. It just saves you that much warp. This one would fall off a foot before that. And there's some of them these have got a couple of extra turns of warp on. That isn't unusual. It's very important when you're sectionally warping a loom like that to keep a very accurate count. It isn't bad if you got a couple extra turns on one, but if you're short a couple turns on one, then you you waste all that warp on the ones that have the extra turns on. You know? So it pays to count carefully when you're doing it. That's why I try not not to do it when there's people around. You know, I, I like to be able to concentrate on it when I'm doing it. But like I said, the idea is to tear this apart. Though at the same time, I'm tempted to run another load of warp on it. As long as I got it set up here. You know, it works fine. I just want to uh, to clean up this, this awful paint. And that's something to keep in mind. You know, it's... <laughs> It's very easy to paint something like this. It's very hard to get it off. You know, I, I've seen people do that with like old chairs or uh, sometimes nice old pianos and then they'll put this kind of stuff on them and, and just that's very hard to get that off again. But that's my intention because I know they're they're good solid wood underneath. It's just this horrible paint. I don't know what possessed the people to do that. But I have to think about this. I might have, you know, I've got some rag balls left and I got plenty of material made up so I might actually run another load of warp on yeah like 40 turns or so just to use up some extra stuff and get some some of these made though I will probably change it change the threading arrangement so that I'm double slaying I prefer to do that but these are the ones that I was making yesterday there's one of them that's that one is about six feet long, but most of them are like, like three, four feet long. But like I say, four of them, that's what I was able to get out of that warp. But they're good solid rugs. You know, they're, they're stiff. And you can see the edges are straight. But that's when I was talking blue jeans and flannel shirt. You see that, how that makes a, a very nice looking rug. And that's material that turns up in thrift stores real often. You know, you can buy, when they have bag sales, I buy a whole bag of flannel shirts, you know, for like $2. Well, you can make a lot of rugs just by adding blue jeans in, and there's never a shortage of them.